Hey guys, so Apple has officially released today iOS 17.3 Developer Beta 3. And yes, Apple last week released Beta 2. It was a bit of a rocky start. It was sending a lot of devices into a constant boot loop into recovery mode. Apple never released the second beta again. Rather, they released the third beta this week. So now Apple is officially on a weekly release schedule, which tells me we'll see iOS 17.3, the official release, out sooner rather than later. Now, this latest beta comes in at approximately 573 megabytes of a download if you happen to install beta 2 this is coming from beta 2 to beta 3 now i want to take a look at the build number before we get to some of the information because the build number usually tells us how long before apple releases this software to the public so as we go into the about section here we click into ios version we see there it is the latest build number it's going to be 21d5044 a. Now, the letter A towards the end of the bill number usually means that Apple is nearly completed with the software and we could see the RC or release candidate in the next week or so. Now, Apple also introduced Apple Vision Pro. Pre-orders start on January the 19th and the Vision Pro will be available to the general public on February 2nd. Now, this software also includes the new feature, of course, Spatial Video, which was also integrated into iOS 17.2. So if you capture Spatial Video, you'll be able to view that on Vision Pro come February 2nd, 2024. So now, now let's get to iOS 17.3, developer beta 3. Now, public beta testers, I know you guys always ask, you should see this populate for you in the next 24 to 48 hours at the latest. Aside from iOS 17.3 beta 3 for the iPhone, Apple also released iPadOS 17.3 beta 3 for the iPad, macOS 14.3 beta 3 for the Mac, watchOS 10.3 beta 3 for the Apple Watch, and tvOS 17.3 beta 2 is still the one that's lingering. So we don't have a tvOS update just yet, but if you do have the HomePod, however, the HomePod beta is also available 17.3 beta 3 for the HomePod. I don't know why Apple has not updated the uh, tvOS just yet, but hey, we're waiting for that here as well. Now, Apple did release some release notes in regards to iOS 17.3 beta 2 last week. Right here, Apple indicates a quick, important message for users who were stuck in that boot loop issue from last week. You can go ahead and check that out. Links in the description. If you're a developer, I'll link you down below so you can go ahead and troubleshoot if you still need any kind of assistance. I'm sure most of you guys probably already figured that out. The main issue was the back tap feature being enabled on certain iPhones. 17.3 beta 2 was causing a constant boot loop. So what's new with iOS 17.3? Now, of course, the highlighted feature here is going to be stolen device protection. Now, this feature basically protects you from any rare circumstances where someone steals your phone and they happen to know your passcode as well. So this will prevent anyone that knows your passcode to actually change your Apple ID password, preventing anyone from getting access to your passwords, to your keychain, to anything on your device, even payments. This new stolen device protection feature will prevent anything from happening if that ever was to happen to you. There's also a built-in delay feature into this one so if you're at home or at a workplace this delay will not apply but if someone steals your phone at a public place and they try to go into settings here if they go into the face id and passcode section here once they enter the passcode if they go and try to turn off this stolen device protection they'll get prompted with face id so they can't really do anything and even if they do get face id for whatever reason you have an evil twin brother they still can't change that passcode because it will have a delay delay an hour delay before any changes can be made to your apple id password again protecting you from any uncertainties or any situation where your device gets stolen and the person that stole your device happens to know that passcode now aside from that apple also added the collaborative playlist into apple music once again with ios 17.3 so of course you can go into apple music here you can go into your playlist you have any playlist here you can go and select that and right here you can enable the collaborative playlist within apple music we also have the emoji reactions for collaborative playlist right there so you guys can actually go ahead and react to certain songs and provide some feedback on your collaborative playlist, which has again re-enabled with iOS 17.3. So far, it is still here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, 
this feature will make it to iOS 17.3. Now, if you have spatial video here on your iPhone, you have the ability to now tap into spatial video. And once you do, you get this information here explaining how spatial video works on 17.3. And it shows you how much data it's going to be consuming and the quality it's recording on. So yeah, aside from that, I also wanted to mention that Apple did open a new store in South Korea and there's a new wallpaper available. So if you want to check that out, I'll link that in the description down below. We have the wallpaper for the Mac, the iPads, and the iPhone, which is the wallpaper that I'm rocking on my device right now. Now, iOS 17.3, developer beta 3, again, the letter A towards the end of the build number usually means we're near its release. So expect the official release of iOS 17.3 here in the next two weeks or so. So I'm thinking the week of January the 22nd, we may see the official release of iOS 17.3. If not, maybe even the RC, which is the release candidate with a follow-up on the 29th with the official release of the software. Stay tuned here to the channel. Of course, I'll continue digging around the software, testing the battery and everything like that. And if I find anything else, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.